Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel again. Thanks for tuning into another video. I have uploaded a video uh, a very, very short while ago um, showing PlayStation 5 uh, remote play uh, or using the PS remote play app on an Android tablet to stream the PlayStation 5 remotely. And I had the DualShock 4 controller connected to my uh, Android tablet and successfully streamed a couple of games. So I demoed Mortal Kombat 11 and also Spider-Man. So I thought I'd record another video just showing how to set up PlayStation Remote Play on a PC. Now I haven't installed the app yet so I'm on the website that shows information about the application. It definitely shows PlayStation 5 support as well as PS4. So it's good to see it's consistently supported on Windows and Mac as well as um, Android tablets and I suppose also iPads. So what we're going to do is we'll, let's go ahead and install the application. So because I want, it looks like there's a separate app here. So on the Android tablet, there was one app. Um, actually, no, sorry, there's not one app. There's one app. There's multiple sets of instructions. So because we want to control uh, PlayStation 5 from Windows PC, I guess we'll click on the button here and it's going to take us to the right link. And first thing we want to do is we want to actually install the app. Um, so let's have a look at that. So let's install the app. Um, we'll agree and we'll install, we'll download the application. And once downloaded, let's uh, click on that. Right, so the application is going to now start installing. I can probably minimize the website for now. And as soon as it's installed, I'm guessing it's going to be a process of pairing a controller to the actual PC. So I'm hoping I can use a DualShock 4 controller because I don't want to keep pairing and unpairing my PS5 Dual, uh, DualSense 5 controller. Um, it's going to be painful. So first things first, sign into PSN. I'm just going to pause the video here while I sign into my account. Right, so I've just signed into the application. Um, um, this is similar to the mobile app where you can choose how much uh, data you want to provide to them. So as always, we'll choose limited data, confirm, continue, and then you get to select which console you want to connect to. So this looks very similar to the Android app. If you haven't seen that, there's another video showing uh, remote play working on an Android tablet um, about controllers. So use a wireless controller for PS5. Connect your controller and PC with a USB cable. So um, I guess you can choose either or, right? We're going to go for PS4 um, DualShock controller, hopefully, and let's see how that goes. So I want to set PS5. Before connecting to your PS5, use Remote Play, enable your PS5. So I've done that already. And it's going to search for my console, which by now is already on because I was a short while ago recording a video on streaming to the Android tablet. So I think this should hopefully not take too long. It's definitely connecting over the internet. It didn't say it's connecting over the local network, um, which is strange, right? Because it should detect that you're on the network. Right, so I think you can hear the desktop audio, which I'm going to turn down a little bit. Let's turn that audio down a little bit so you can hear the microphone. Right, so here we go. It's here. So if I maximize that, um, I am hoping to find somewhere an option to change the streaming quality. Uh, let's see if we can find that anywhere here. Oh, I can't see the option to, to, for that at all, to be honest. So first thing first, it's definitely not showing. Um, well, it's, it's not asked me to pair a controller at all. So why don't we go ahead and quickly put the I'm going to put my DualShock into a pairing mode, DualShock 4, and just connect it to the PC and see what happens. So uh, I'm just going to pause this video for a second while I pair the Bluetooth controller. Or actually, in fact, I won't pause the video. What I'll do is I'll I'll pair the controller um, so you can actually see it pairing here. I'm just going to bring this into view. 
so you can see it um, and what we're going to do my controller is in a pairing mode so we'll add Bluetooth devices I will hopefully find the controller here now Right, the controller is definitely working. That's the controller moving it up and down. Right, so let's go back here now. So let's go back to the remote play. Interesting thing is, it's, it's not picking up my controller. Um, so, the Android app definitely worked better than this, didn't it? Yes, it did. Let's see if we can exit this application or quit streaming and actually go back to the settings and mess around with the settings a little bit so let's just launch that again and see what it does because um it definitely didn't find my controller right so it says it does say use a wireless controller for ps5 or ps4 um maybe that means connect the controller to the playstation as long as you're in the um i guess in in range of the playstation then you'll be able to just control the PlayStation with the PlayStation controller but it will be streaming on your screen um, I, I'll do that as well I've got the PlayStation controller on now but what I'll quickly do is I'll connect my um, PlayStation 4 joypad to the PC using a USB cable I do have the wireless dongle somewhere to connect it but I, I, for the life of me I can't find it right now so I'm not going to mess around trying to look for that Instead, what we're going to do is connect this directly to um, the uh, PC using a USB cable. So I've connected that now. And it doesn't look like there's an option to actually select this uh, greater option. Connect your controller using a USB cable. Um, which is a bit strange, right? Because uh, it's, it's, it's not really allowing you to do much, to be honest. Video quality options are here. So let's check, set that, let's set them both to 1080p even though I haven't got my PS4 at the moment. Um, and let's just go on with that. Again, uh, I don't, I'm going to exit the application and just launch it again because I've connected the controller via a USB cable. And I want to see if it detects that. That, that option is not changing at all. So let's just go ahead and um, connect again and see what happens. Definitely not what I wanted up. So now PlayStation 4 controller, DualShock 4, connected to the PC using a USB cable, micro USB cable, working absolutely fine. Now I've got the stream quality set to 1080p. Let's just go to Spider-Man, back to the game. Let's see how it works. So it's definitely detected a controller connected, even though it's not a PlayStation 5 controller. I can continue. So as you can see, um, stream quality looking good, 1080p. So this is actually where I paused it on the actual Android uh, streaming test. So this is continuing directly from there. Simon, how is that possible? And the answer is new form. Just one canister of this revolutionary fuel source is enough to supply Harlem with clean, safe energy for the next 500 years. Soon, we'll be opening reactors throughout Manhattan and then worldwide. Get ready. For a planet powered. Hopefully the cutscene will be over soon and I can just move around a little bit to see how it is. We're here for you. Who was that? No sign of anybody. We broke a bunch of stuff. What do you 
they were looking for something. Lag-wise, um, I guess you can't see the controller in this video, but I would say that it's absolutely minimal. Um, definitely a little bit less lag than the um, mobile app. If you just search for a new thing, what were they gonna do with it? Oh, another big bad guy. So this is extremely playable over remote play, it's working absolutely fine, um, it's, it, it, you wouldn't even, you wouldn't know it's a lag, there's, there's almost no lag, um, it's so small, even game with such heavy action it's perfectly playable, um, it's not causing any problems at all. Oh, and I'm dead. Right, so there we go. Let's exit to the home screen. Um, let's see if we can switch to Mortal Kombat. And let's see. Yeah, love the load times again. I've said it before. Loading times are fantastic on the new gen consoles, both PlayStation and Xbox Series X. As they say, it's less time loading, more time playing. It is 100% true. It's fantastic. You can just get on with the game. So let's quickly start a bit of Mortal Kombat, let's see how this works. Choose your faction. Character Ooh. So again, you can see here, ready for a fast action fighting game, working absolutely fine over remote play, sound is perfect, the uh, graphics are fantastic, looking great out of 1080p. Yeah, it's not 4K, but you're streaming, so you can't expect too much, right? But not getting any lag, not getting any jitters, no buffering, it's not, um, it's not reducing in video quality. I am playing on a high-speed internet connection, as they as they request that you do. Um, it's working really well. So there you have it. We've tested remote play on the Android tablet. We've tested remote play now on a Windows PC. Um, hopefully that gives you a great idea of the remote play capabilities for your PlayStation 5, or if you were maybe looking at how the remote play was before even considering buying a PlayStation. Hopefully this answers a few questions for you. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you've liked the video and Somewhere here in the corner you'll see a subscribe button Please do hit that if you haven't already done so so you can be notified of upcoming videos Thank you very much for watching. Take care and all the best. Bye. Bye